artwork to life with a stylish lines and added diff of a metal print. Lines are created with one point connects to another. The painting is realistic with bright colors and vivid factions, with lines convey the feelings of comfort and ease as well as sensual quality. Shape is a flat area surrounded by edges or an outline, typically rectangular in shape, implicitly defining the clear edges and boundaries of a painting. Now, its shading technique uses oil painting wherein it creates a 2D quality that gives illusion of depth, that brings a sense of realism and life to subject that doesn't look flat on a real canvas. The consistency of this artwork show a formal balance from left to right wherein vertical balance is equally important. The order, formality, and const constancy conveyed. Combinations of perspective used within a single figure. The particle size, clarity, and elasticity are some of the characteristics that each pigment has. The ratio of oil pigment as well as the degree were milled developmentally that they won't fade. A three-point perspective includes two vanishing points in the horizon line as well as a vanishing point that all vertical lines lead to either above or below the horizon. A man's eye view is created as when you are looking towards the object from man's point of view. Now let us see the shapes and lines or are there any unity in the image. A formation of lines which created a cubes or circle, lines and curves in the portrait. The unity in the portrait is visible which creates a scenery. The artist creates an illusional space which occurs on overlapping the size of the object and is detailed. The color and value differs when farther and closer view. The character here is a woman and a knight together with his colleagues riding a horse preparing for a battle. The situation of portraying an armored knight leaving his beloved one to go on a battle, tying red sash around the knight's arm. Now, the artist utilizes a painting medium, usually a combination of solvent and oil used to change the paint to make it act in different ways, extremely necessary a part of manipulating paint. Using a lot of medium may look flat and clear, while using a little medium, the paint will have its consistency. In the protected courtyard of a medieval castle, a young knight on a white charger takes leave of a beautiful maiden, who leans from a balustrade to tie an embroidered scarf around his arm as a token of her love for him and her belief that he will return to her. Pink rumbler roses are clinging to the stonework, but their petals are starting to fall, perhaps a symbol that love is in danger. He's going to war, and it's not clear whether he and his comrades will return to the castle and to her. Leiron produced highly finished, beautiful pictures displaying romanticized scenes with a widespread appeal. The emotions produced by the painting is Valen's or hedonic tone. The viewers with the painting would have felt an immediate connection to the soldiers going to fight. The young woman ties her favor around the departing knight's arm as a pledge of love and support, and he is about to ride off to war on his white steed. Such a sash was bestowed with the understanding that the knight must return it, reassuring both parties that they would be reunited. It identified with a mythical medieval past in which con culture centered on Christianity, family, and a social order where everyone happily fulfilled their rule from birth. The author of The Godspeed is Edmund Blair Layton was an English painter of hysterical genre scenes, specializing in Regency and medieval subjects. Accordingly, when he was little more than 15, he was put into the office of a firm of tea merchants in the city. The artistic impulse his heart and his brain. However, refused to be denied, he spent the whole of his spare time in drawing. and had made such progress than when he was 17 he resolved to devote his evenings. After business hours to the study of art, he therefore entered himself as a student in the evening class at South Kensington. 
Even this early in his career, he discovered for himself the fact he is often formulated in the words, drawing is the backbone of the whole thing.